Hello, welcome back to Pump With Purpose. So I am here, I have made a comment about in my Unimom review, how much I love the Unimom. And there are more reviews coming. I'm gonna do different updates because again, the pump just is life right now. It is absolute life. But what I'm popping on to talk to you about is not a comparison between the Spectra and the Unimom. It is a full on transparency post about when using other pumps. <laughs> So, I have started using the Unimom. It is now my go-to, my Spectra, my trusty, dusty Spectra that has stayed with me over the last year. is now sitting on my ottoman. I have gone back and tried to use it a couple times, and my body doesn't respond the same to it anymore. <laughs> so, please keep in mind, when you are using different pumps, that your body can like a pump so much that it doesn't like other pumps. <laughs> Does that make sense? The Unimom empties me better. It empties me faster. Um, yeah, and I'm not in pain, like literally. Um, I can't say enough. So it's nothing wrong with this pump. <laughs> you see it? I'm just that person. So you know how like the pump costs a lot of money. This pump was gifted to me. I bought the Spectra myself. I do have a discount code with Unimom <laughs> to save 20% on the pump. But this pump, whew, it, it's, you know, it's on the higher side of pump pricing. So, uh, I, it's this little plastic feature here that I'm just keeping on it just to protect it. You know, I'm, it's a touch screen, so I'm always pressing and touching it. So I'm just like, until this plastic falls off, I'm just going to leave it on there because I just, I like to feel like it's even more protected. But I'm hopping on just to literally mention that being cautious about when using new pumps. If you know, suffering through and then your body gets used to it, um, sometimes it may not respond well to other pumps that you go to use. And this doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the previous pump or the new pump. Sometimes your body ends up, you know, having a preference for one pump over the other. And now I'm so surprised. Like, I, it literally takes me so much longer to empty. The Spectra used to be like my go-to. It was the pump that I started using when I left, stopped using my hospital grade to be the platinum. And now this Unimom is everything. I don't consider the Unimom a mobile pump. It is mobile, but it's like, it's, it does not have the features of a mobile pump at all. It, it customizes to the utmost. And even though it is rechargeable to me, it's not, a, it's and it's mobile, but it's just not like a definition of what I call a mobile pump. <sighs> yeah, it's not. And I literally just want to caution everyone that, you know, maybe using different pumps that sometimes your body can have a preference over the other pump and then not respond as well to another pump. And that's okay. So that is why when purchasing pumps or wanting to know about more about pumps, I always recommend a session because depending on what you're using and how well it's working for you, it may knock out a lot of other pumps. Like if you tell me you like a really strong pump and you're using a 12 on your Spectra, there you, you're going to knock out a lot of pumps. <laughs> And certain mobile pumps are not going to work well for you, you know, but if you're telling me that you're a one or two on your Spectra in general, you're going to not possibly not be able to handle some of the stronger suction pumps. And so that is why it is so important to talk through those things, to know where you are before investing money, pump after pump, having to stress over, you know, trying to resell or re-gift it and just money just wasted because there are two or three pumps sitting, you know, just around. And unless you're pumped with purpose that, you know, it's, you know, 20 plus pumps sitting in my closet because I'm offering, you know, counseling sessions to talk through the different pumps and still trying to get my hands on a couple more pumps that I used in the past and gave away that I'm beating myself up over. So I'm hoping by next year, I'll be able to um, get a couple more pumps back into my lineup that um, I don't have any longer. So uh, just wanted to pop on to talk to you a little bit about pumping and why it is important to be able to 
realize when choosing a pump that, you know, making sure you do it with care and caution. So again, until next time, we'll pump with purpose.